हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग आई एम आरती आई एम गोइंग टू डिक्टेट यू एक्सरसाइज नंबर 16 फ्रॉम प्रोग्रेसिव में प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फाइव सेकेंड सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस इंडिया हैज अक्वायर्ड कंसिडरेबल एक्सपीरियंस इन प्रिवेंशन and control of both communicable and non communicable diseases while we could successfully eradicate many deadly diseases like smallpox and guinea worm and are on the verge of eliminating leprosy we are now facing the problem of resurgence of serious communicable diseases like malaria and tuberculosis while we thought that we had eradicated malaria from the country it has now come back in a highly virulent form in the country it has now come back in a highly virulent form in some areas here almost fatal so far as tb is concerned roughly about 15 million indians are infected with the disease and every year more than 1.2 million are getting added hundreds of thousands die of tb each year however the most serious public health challenge that the country is facing today is of hiv oblique aids that is just a decade old in this country aids is a global problem sadly with a strong indian dimension more than 20 out of 100 adults in africa face death in the next 10 years in one african country population growth will halt in the next 4 years in another african country life expectancy will drop from a high of 61 years in 1990 to only 41 years next year what is happening what is happening is being compared by senior united nations public health officials to the fatal plague that wiped out one third of europe's population in the 14th century according to the south african government 14% of their population of 32 million is infected with hiv which leads to aids and death and 1500 more are daily diagnosed with the virus president nelson mandela has earlier this month said although aids has been a part of our lives for 15 years or more we have kept silent about its true presence in our midst adding we have to often spoken of it as someone else problem that is south africa's situation and there is president mandela's recent statement i have taken the liberty of referring to africa and quoting president mandela because our situation is also alarming and could become frightening and we too speak of aids 
एज समन इल्स प्रॉब्लम लुक एट आवर ओन एड्स सिचुएशन द हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री पुट्स द फिगर ऑफ एच आई वी इन्फेक्शंस इन द कंट्री टिल नाउ एट टू फोर मिलियन बिकॉज एच आई वी एफ्लिक्शन टेक टिल टेन ईयर्स इन हेल्दी सर्कमस्टांसेज टू ब्लो इन टू एड्स एंड एड्स पेशेंट्स लिव टिल टू मोर ईयर्स पीपल डू नॉट टेक द वायरस सीरियसली इन अनहेल्दी कंडीशंस द टाइम फ्रेम इज मच शॉर्टर एनदर रीजन वाय पीपल डू नॉट टेक एड्स सीरियसली इज बिकॉज इट इज डायबोलिकल वन कम्स टू नो वन इज एच आई वी पॉजिटिव ओनली इफ वन गोज एंड टेक्स एन एच आई वी टेस्ट द एलिसा टेस्ट इन एबसेंस ऑफ द एलिसा टेस्ट वन कुड बी कैरिंग द वायरस फॉर सिक्स और सेवन ईयर्स नॉट नोइंग अबाउट इट एंड पासिंग इट ऑन टू वंस एस्पाउज एंड द वाइफ टू द न्यू बॉर्न थ्रू ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग विदाउट एनी ऑफ देम नोइंग दिस इज द क्रक्स ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम हाउ एवर दीज आर जस्ट फिगर्स एंड फिगर्स डू नॉट कन्वे द ह्यूमन ट्रेजडी दैट इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री टूडे a man or a woman has diarrhea or fever or weakness that medicines fail to subdue he or she goes to a doctor the doctor suggests a blood test the person tests hiv positive the test is repeated the hiv infection is confirmed however it is too late the person's partner is already infected and the couple's child is also infected from breast feeding the first infection is almost 5 to 6 years old there is no cure all three must die and i know they die how many such nuclear families are already condemned to death in our country today how many will be condemned to death in the next decade when hiv appeared in india in 1986 everybody thought that it is a western disease that will be contacted only by sex workers in red light areas gay men and injecting drug users the consequences of that short sighted view are now upon us in india sexually transmitted diseases are already a serious problem and what is significant nearly 40% of such diseases occur in the middle class segment of our population more significantly persons already suffering from sexually transmitted diseases are more prone to hiv infections what will this catastrophe mean to business and industry in say the year 2005 since the hiv oblique aids affliction is mostly in the productive age group of 18 to 40 this could have serious consequences for our economy already half the new infections in india 
आर इन दिस एज ग्रुप बिजनेस एंड इंडस्ट्री मस्ट टेक अ हार्ड एंड अर्जेंट नोट ऑफ दिस रियलिटी एंड एक्ट टू इंक्रीज अवेयरनेस अबाउट एड्स एंड स्प्रेड द मैसेज अराउंड स्टॉप